Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over several space weather items. We've got the best shot yet of Comet Atlas. We'll see an excellent study that tells us what we already know, but in a new way. And we've got notes on flood, soil, salinity. Let's start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find another mostly calm day. No significant solar flares or eruptions towards the Earth. A couple filaments released, including a good one down south. Coronal hole incoming. Sunspots incoming, too. Let's go there next. Folks, these aren't even the three monster spots we said were on the far side yesterday. These are smaller ones out ahead of them. They're turning in now, and the southernmost of the group appears like it has an excellent chance of magnetic complexity. Another day, and we'll see those spots fully. Had a good reminder of why we watch those plasma filaments. They like to erupt and make CMEs. This one went south and away from the Earth, but it makes me look at the remaining filaments that are facing us now with a little more than suspicion. That coronal hole will face Earth tonight. Its solar wind is expected early this coming week. More sunspots possible by Thanksgiving. Folks, this is the best shot yet of Comet Atlas, and it's not even close. Now, I love a good conspiracy. My entire career is based on pointing out official lies and cover-ups, but this looks like a comet. It's already heading out and away from the inner system. Goodbye, little guy, and I won't be holding my breath for the apologies from the peanut gallery for your lunacy the last several months. I'm hoping you just learned who to listen to. Up next, folks, this paper made a critical error. They found that there is no change in the relationship between solar storms and ionospheric disruption over time. And they say this is due to increasing CO2 and increasing solar wind pressure. Well, Sort of. It's not down until the page 1819 transition they admit their actual real-world observations did not show CO2 having an impact like their model suggested it would. It's just the amplified solar wind pressure the last two sunspot cycles, and to that I say, excuse me? The last sunspot cycle was the weakest of the space age. There are dozens of papers discussing how the solar wind pressure has been dropping, and that is what has happened. So why did this paper say it's increasing? Because from Earth's perspective, it has. The weaker magnetic field in this ongoing magnetic pole shift is allowing the solar wind pressure to feel amplified by our planet, even if out there in space, solar wind pressure is actually dropping. It's just that there's a blizzard in our solar system and our planet has lost its jacket. Folks, two nights in a row you've had a shot at watching the flood video simulations. Hopefully you have seen it by now. I went through every aspect of this with Grok yesterday. Didn't want to know that much about soil and salt, but we figured out that most areas of the world could recover from any salinity dump by these floods in as little as 6 to 18 months. The drier areas, or hard clay, could take several years. And a lot of you have been asking about the floods salting the earth. Nope, not a chance. It's already diluted in the ocean. The rain does the rest, and most of it is actually washed back out with the receding waters. Folks, the documentary release date is intentionally obscured. Maybe there's a couple people I don't want to know when it's coming out, but when it does here very soon, it is going to be free, and we can thank goldobservers.com for that. They are the reason you won't need a subscription service or to pass a paywall, and they are still price-matching silver for you guys, which still feels like stealing. And at this point, if you don't understand the value and still think, oh, I can't eat gold and silver, they're worthless in the disaster, guess what? We're all a decade ahead of you. Fix it at goldobservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, including the announcement of Dr. Dunning's two events at Observer Ranch this next year. We'll do it right here. Right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.